Hey everyone, it's Jody here for Wednesday on FT Real M, and this week we are talking about allies. Um, I think that allies are a good resource to have when trying to reach a larger population of trying to get people to understand our, our community and to build that knowledge of our community up so that way we can be on a better path to more equality um, than what we already have in some states. So. If we want to impact things a lot more, we got to get people on our side and have people understand our section of the LGBT community. And um, some ways that I've tried to build allies is I've done the last couple of years, well, almost two years, um, I've gone to a couple of formal panels on my university's campus to have people have a better understanding and knowledge of the transgender community, as well as breaking those stereotypes. Um, that's another key thing is that we have to break through what people think a transgender person is and what they look like and how they interact with us and how we interact with them and got to break down all those ba those walls and have people finally understand our community at what it really is and what we really want out of our life and how the things unbalanced right now and how they impact our lives um, greatly. Um, an example of that is currently in the state of Idaho. Um, I talked about at a panel one time that no matter where I move to, no matter where I go, no matter how much surgery I have or how many hormone, how much hormones I take, I will never be able to change my birth certificate because I was born in the state of Idaho. And that kind of sucks, um, especially for some people that want to do that. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have that, you know, just be done and over with. Um, and rather than having that in my background history kind of thing, when people look up my, do a background check on me, I'd rather just, it be gone, you know, because of how, you know, I really feel and things like that. But right now, it just doesn't really matter. And um, in order to impact that, we have to gain, the trans community within Idaho has to gain a lot more allies, you know, within their communities that they live in, along with um, the political side of everything and gaining you know, allies politically that can change those types of decisions and make those laws better. Um, and it's always good to have allies in any area of profession. Um, I've done a panel kind of group discussion thing informally with my friend's counseling class. She's been doing that for almost two years now. She invites me once a semester to kind of break through like those type of stereotypical things and educate people on just the trans community in general and give them a base knowledge so that way they have something to build on and if they have any questions then they typically ask me quite a few questions uh, some people not so much some sometimes more sometimes less just depends but I also talk about other resources that are available to them if they don't feel comfortable asking me or they don't feel comfortable maybe asking another transgender person that they meet later in life those maybe invasive or intruding questions, um, there are resources online that they can gain more knowledge and understanding, and then that way they can educate their friends, they can educate their family, um, and they can educate their workforce um, field, whatever they're going into, counseling, uh, maybe high school counseling, you know, they just it just encompasses a lot of people when you have allies in all areas that we can gain in our community and make our community bigger so that way we can have a larger impact within our communities and within society in general. Um, so I think that is about it. Um, if you guys have any other questions on allies or my opinions on allies, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them as best as I possibly can. And I hope you guys are all having a great week and I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you next week. Later.